One of the first things that you have to do on a grounding issue with trailer lights is to find out where the problem originates. In finding for a grounding issue, the vast majority of times the grounding problem is going to be on the trailer itself. However, we're going to start by looking at the tow vehicle to make sure that it has a proper ground. One of the easiest ways to test for your tow vehicle's electrical circuit is to use one of these four-prong adapters. You can buy them almost anywhere. All you have to do is plug it into your four-prong plug on your tow vehicle, and as you can see, the circuitry is uh, working perfectly. And so with the adapter in the plug, you can quickly and easily tell by turning on and off your left and right turn signals that both of your turn signals are working correctly. So now that we've determined that the tow vehicle is working properly, what we're gonna do is plug in our trailer lights. So the four prong plug, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that there's no dirt or debris. So you're gonna use a wire brush and brush both sides, make sure it's nice and clean. And then you're gonna plug your trailer lights into your four prong plug. So now we have our four prong plug into the tow vehicle. That four prong plug has a, a grounding wire that grounding wire is going to go onto the tongue or the, the actual trailer itself. Before you can actually get a good solid ground, you've got to clean up the paint, scrape down to bare metal, and any corrosion that's going to be on the ground wire. So now we've tested that the vehicle is working fine. We've tested that our four-prong wiring harness is working perfectly for the trailer lights themselves. And we've got a good solid ground onto the trailer. So next we're going to work on the grounds for the lights. So now that we've got the trailer ground at the front, we're gonna ground each of the individual lights. Lights come in a couple different styles. One style has the individual ground wire attached to it, which you need to attach to a ground spot just as we did at the front of the trailer. So you'll need to drill a hole, you'll need to have a bolt and a nut, and make sure that it's filed down to a nice, clean, bare metal. The other type of light that you can have actually has no ground wire but the bolts themselves are the ground. So it's really important when you put this uh, light through your trailer that the inside, the hole that you put these bolts through is perfectly clean because that becomes the ground. As you tighten the nut onto this particular type of light, it'll ground the light by itself. So one way to double check after everything is set up on your trailer to check your lights to make sure they're well grounded is to shake the trailer. See if the lights flicker, if they do, you still need to do some tightening and securing of your ground nuts. So in some cases, you can think that you've got a good solid ground, yet the light still doesn't work well. One way to double test to make sure that it is a grounding problem on your trailer and not the light is to take the grounding wire from your light and run a wire all the way back to the tow vehicle's frame and then operate your light. If the light works perfectly in that regard, then you know for sure that you've got a grounding problem on your trailer. Through this video, we've shown you a number of different ways that you need to ground and secure your trailer lights. There are a number of odd situations that can come up that can cause grounding problems. One, for example, is if you have a foldable trailer. Unfortunately, you have to have the trailer fully extended and ready to be used so you have continuity of a ground. Other issues that can come up can be composites or homemade trailers. So the trailer isn't made out of metal or it's made out of different types of composites. And because of that, you don't get a solid ground. Last but not least, we don't want to drill into our trailer. So we use bolts, existing bolts that are there. The problem with that is the coating that's on the bolt or on the nut. And that can also resist the ground as well and cause problems. Hopefully overall though, this video has given you some insight and some ideas to make sure that your trailer light install is successful.